What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure news video for you guys. And it is on a brand new Elite set that is coming to us very, very soon or going into 2021. Probably early 2021, late 2020 is what I would guess. But before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Unstable1047, Christian over there, for the news on this. He did a video on this. I think yesterday was the day he did the video on this. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to him for letting me know all of the knowledge here for this video without that this video would not be possible so huge shout out to unstable 1047 my boy christian so today guys we do have some new upcoming action figures from wwe mattel we got some new wwe elites if you guys remember last year we had the royal rumble elite set this year it is returning so last year's set i think featured what bobby lashley lita who was the other two macho man and i can't remember the last one get gummit and the rock the rock was the last one okay so the rock was the last one in the set i think the only two i got out of that set were macho man and and Lita. I never found Bobby Lashley or The Rock, so that's unfortunate. I need to track those things down. But here today, guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. So we're going to reveal it to you guys today. So on the forum, so if you guys don't know about the WWE figure forums, on the wrestling figure forums yesterday, some random account posted that uh, the, the Royal Rumble Elite said they posted it. This account got on there and posted this link, and when you click the link, it took you to this website where you could pre-order the figures, and it was a German website. Translating it into English, you got to read exactly who the people were and everything. They don't have proto images or anything anything like that, but they do have the names listed there. And so today, guys, we're going to break down the list, and I'm going to tell you what I think the figures are going to look like. So starting off with the first figure in the set, guys, so starting out first, guys, the first man in the wave is going to be none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. So Stone Cold Steve Austin is no slouch when it comes to the Royal Rumble. He's won three Royal Rumbles in his entire career. He is the Royal Rumble man. I mean, he is known for it. I would have loved to have seen him in Series 1, but we are going to get him in Series number 2, it seems. I'm just glad that the Royal Rumble Elite Series is coming back. You know, sometimes with Mattel... You know, a series won't do that good, or we'll only get one or two sets of a series. I'm actually super excited to see a second set come forward. And the first guy we got is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, in this set, it's going to be very crazy because Stone Cold Steve Austin won three Royal Rumbles. So, in those years, it would be 1997, 1998, and 2001. So, that leads me to believe that the figure will be based on one of those. And if it's in 1997, 98, or 01, you guys know as well as I do, Stone Cold Steve Austin's attires do not really change. I mean, he really never changed his attire. It was always the black trunks. Vests would change. These braces would change here and there. Sometimes they were on and off throughout his career. As it got later in his career, he would always rock both braces. They changed from gold to red to white sometimes. Mostly black. So what I am thinking is it's probably going to be a plain Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite from 97 or 98, or it could be from 2001, and it could be with possibly a knee wrap over his knee. And even Christian mentioned in his video that maybe it'll come with an interchangeable bloody head sculpt, which would be freaking fantastic. I am still waiting on Mattel to give us a screaming head sculpt with Stone Cold, so hopefully we get a pissed off face and then we get a screaming head sculpt, maybe even some beer cans for after the matchup where he won and he smashes them together, or maybe something like that, an interchangeable bloody head sculpt. And Christian even mentioned possibly that we could get a Royal Rumble 2002 Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here on the screen, I do have a custom from my boy The Ray Noso on Instagram. Very great photographer for WWE action figures, and he's a great page to follow, so definitely go follow him at the Reynoso, but he has his custom Royal Rumble 2002 slash WrestleMania 18 custom in the gold and black vest here, and you guys can see it's got the alcohol fueled on the back, and I do believe he wore this vest not only at the Royal Rumble that year, but also at WrestleMania, so this is what I'm guessing the figure could possibly be in the gold vest, and if it's not 2002, then it would be 2001 where he last eliminated Kane, and of course, course, if it's not one of those, it will be 97 or 98, where it was just regular black trunks, black wrist tape, which I, I'm pretty damn sure, I'm about 99.999% positive that any attire we get for Stone Cold will be in that attire. It just depends on the knee braces and the accessories and the vest, if we even get a vest. So we'll just have to see about that, how that, how that plays out and sees, but I'm actually really excited for this. I love collecting Stone Cold Steve Austin figures. I think I have 20 or so in my collection, so his figures are super fun. But let's move on to the next person in the set, guys. It is going to be none other than Umaga. So um Umaga is looking to get his second elite figure. 
and this one is going to be pretty cool. If you guys missed out on the first one, I think the first one was either in Elite Series. It was either 39, 40, or 41. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head which set it was, but Umaga's figure is super underrated. We even talked about it on Thinking Outside the Box just the other day that his figures are very great, and the only two attires it could be is from his matchup with John Cena, which I think was in 2007, where it said Umaga down the side in like a wood slash like Samoan type pattern or like text or font down the side, and then the other one that it could be would be his red attire from I think the following year at the Royal Rumble at Madison Square Garden where John Cena returned. So it's either going to be the black trunks versus or the black pants or whatever the hell you want to call those, the black pants versus John Cena, or it's going to be the red pants, which I honestly would prefer the red pants. I think the red pants are a lot brighter. They look a lot better. They're a lot nicer and they would pop off. Plus his first elite had the black pants. So I don't think they want to release back to back, you know, black pants Umaga elites, especially if you're going to get a second one there. I think you should go with the alternate attire, which would make sense there to go with the red. That would be really, really sick. I would be absolutely happy to add another Umaga. Mine is missing arms anyway, so this would be a great way to replace those arms, get two of these, make a little fix up, you know what I'm saying? Get them in the action figure surgery there, but Umaga is the next figure in the set. I think that would be a really, really great figure to obtain there. But the third guy in the set, guys, is going to be none other than Titus O'Neil. Titus World Slide. The only attire that this could be would be from what? The greatest Royal Rumble where he had, you know, I don't know if it was a botch to this day. I still don't know if it's a botch. I feel like he might have done it on purpose. I'm not sure. It looked completely natural. If he if he did it on purpose, then my God, it was a great acting job. He, he sold it completely well. But you guys know with the greatest Royal Rumble, he tumbled down the 50-foot ramp or whatever that was. And when he got to like the last 8, 10 feet there, he slipped and slid right up under the ring. And I'm pretty sure his tights were like black. They had like purple and gold on them. They looked really, really nice. And we never obtained our NXT Elite Titus O'Neil. You guys know that we were going to get an NXT elite Titus O'Neil that looked great. I mean, my God, how did we not get this thing? Uh, that set included Roderick Strong at one point. I think this wave got canceled. You know, it got pushed back and back, and then they ended up canceling it, replacing the figures in the wave. And just think just think about it. If they have these nice promo images of the Roderick Strong, of the Titus O'Neil, you got to think that somewhere out there is either a warehouse or or, or the designer's houses. They gotta have a box full of these Titus O'Neil figures, right? Or They don't just make one of them, right? I don't know. I'm, this, these are the things that keep me up at night when I'm laying there. But Titus O'Neil is gonna be great. I'm happy to get a you know our first elite of him. We have had a couple battle packs and basics of Titus O'Neil in the past, so this is gonna be a nice elite here, and he could be used for maybe a, a neon green Bobby Lashley or something. You could probably customize him up a little bit, fix him up, and do some cool creative things, but maybe we can do that on surgery or something, but Let's get into the last figure in the wave, guys. Titus O'Neil is our third figure. So, so far, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, Umaga, Titus O'Neil, and the final figure in the set, guys, is going to be none other than the Ultimate Warrior. Now, this one is interesting because, you know, it could be a couple here and there, I'm pretty sure, but I think it's going to be Royal Rumble 1990, where he entered the Royal Rumble and he and Hulk Hogan faced off in that one moment, and I think that is what it would be. So, in this attire, so I'm guessing his tights are probably going to be like a bright neon or like a light yellow or like a brightish color there. And I, I even want to say that they've made a basic of this attire before. I'm not entirely sure about that. If they have, I will plug in the video or I'll do my best to. But I'm pretty sure they've made a basic of this attire before. And I think that it will be cool to have another Ultimate Warrior. We even have like a leak uh, from Showcase Collector on Instagram where they were talking about, you know, a, a, a future WrestleMania figure that we're going to be getting. And it is going to be an Ultimate Warrior from WrestleMania 12. So a WrestleMania 12 Elite Ultimate Warrior is coming as well as a Royal Rumble Elite Ultimate Warrior. So if you are an Ultimate Warrior fan, you like collecting his figures, he's got a ton of Elites out there. This would be a great opportunity to not only get uh, one Ultimate Warrior Elite, but two of those, and that would be in the WrestleMania 12 form and the Royal Rumble whenever the hell form, which again is not confirmed, but that's just what I'm guessing. That would probably be my best guess for an Ultimate Warrior Elite would be, you know, in those bright neon slash yellow tights with Hulk Hogan. But I do believe that is all the news that we have for you guys today, including the WrestleMania 12 Ultimate Warrior figure that was announced on Instagram by Showcase Collector, who has been right in the past. And if you guys are wondering to yourselves, you know, uh, how do we know this is accurate information and things of that nature? I do believe Christian said that this site is the one that did post up the list of the two-pack the two with Bret Hart and
and Goldberg, the WCW two pack that we found out about. I even remember posting a video of that list. Remember, it had like a bunch of different figures on it. So I think this can be taken. I, I highly doubt they would put up a full pre order with the list of the names of the figures and the year and the Royal Rumble set there if it wasn't accurate. It just seems kind of random. And all of the stats kind of check out to me on the optics of it. So I don't know. I, I'm going to buy it for now. I could sell it later, but we're, we're going to see about this. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it as it is coming out. And if it doesn't, then I guess it doesn't. But I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm, pr I'm pretty confident that this is the set that we're going to be getting. But that is pretty much all the figure news I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of the set down below. I do hate that we don't have any current really guys in here. You do have Titus O'Neil, but it would be cool to see maybe a current guy in this Royal Rumble set. But I guess the last one had Bobby Lashley, but it was a flashback Lashley. I mean, I guess O'Neal technically is a current guy, but I think it would have been cool to see somebody else here. But, you know, it's still cool. It's still a pretty cool set. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to look at the figures themselves. We're going to get new head sculpts, I'm sure, for all of them. That is something that I really, really want to see from Stone Cold Steve Austin. Please, to God, give us an updated head sculpt. Not the basic 100, not, you know, the same pissed off one. We need either a yelling face, like a screaming pissed off face. Middle fingers would be really nice to see. I highly doubt we get that, but middle finger interchangeable hands is something we really need from Stone Cold Steve Austin, but maybe even do a ringside exclusive. That would be cool, at least. Give us some middle finger interchangeable hands with a ringside exclusive Stone Cold, but that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the set down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.